Hello everyone, I hope you all are doing great as you all know myself Kirish. From the uh, past couple of years I have been covering the uh, tutorials on multiple CAD tools so that uh, I can help any generation to uh, learn the softwares without paying anything free of cost. Uh, but right now I'm going to uh, like add a full stop for these all the uh, activities which I'm doing it at the back end. So but regarding this video which I had already created uh, like one year before there are some uh, corrections needed into it like uh, I had uh, taken a uh, coefficient of lifts into account instead of coefficient of track. I had considered the lift instead of track here. There was a slight uh, like uh, misjudgment during that particular uh, session. So I had just uh, covered it in the session. Well, uh, I'll be taking you through the same thing at the moment. Well, let's get started with the session now. This is the model Volvo bus. So in this I'm having three different configurations. So in the configuration, I have added the back flaps of angle of attack 40 degree and 50 degrees. So at the top uh, flap has having uh, 40 degree angle of attack and this side has 50 degrees here and same for modified 6070. The topmost is 60 degrees and the side are 70 degrees angle of attack. Okay. Now with SOLIDWORKS flow simulation, uh, we're gonna just uh, run the external flow analysis to Calculate coefficient of drag and drag forces on these all the three configurations. Let me switch to default and let me just showcase in uh, modified what actually I did is. So, coming the fillets, this was the shape, and then actually I used the loft and then added the fillet at the corners and then shelled it. Okay, and after shelling it, used another X2 to connect here as the fillets were there so it was giving uh, so much issues while uh, simulation so to patch it up so I use this so uh, for manufacturing or in the manufacturing approach what we could do is we could generate the 3d printed uh, shape like this and we can directly insert at the trailing uh, faces of the buses to implement it well so let me just activate the flow simulation here yeah so i'm already having the results for our convenience let me just activate the flow simulation tab and i'll go through a uh, simple procedure so that you can understand what actually we have done here so modified 4050 configuration is active on it I'll create the new study I'll use the wizard so you can rename it so let's say test run okay so in this I'm gonna use the same configuration here you could able to set the unit systems to kilometer per hour even you can able to set other uh, unit systems with respect to loads and motion acceleration Newton mass flow rate to grams per seconds and all remove that and then moving ahead the flow external I have set it up and you could even use exclude cavities without flow conditions that also you can set it up so for now I'll just uncheck this one you can even add the gravity okay gravity towards and its point direction and simply add it up here as you could see negative void reaction so the gases different different gases are available uh, newtonian gases and non newtonian gases real gases and steams as well even all blood and these all the stuff are available so with as per your requirement you can able to select the required fluids if you want you can add up the new flow type laminar as well as turbulent as per the requirement software gonna deal with that program controlled so here I'll set the uh, pressure as uh, environmental pressure I won't change it and the temperature I'll keep it as default you could able to set it uh, 30 degrees Celsius 
room temperature I'm not worried about it so right now I'll add the 80 km per hour as my speed sorry velocity along x direction as you could see the simple indication you need to remember this fine so I'll just finish this setup once you do that so SolidWorks gonna give you the sorry I think I have selected uh, internal flow instead of external flow here right yep I'll change it to external okay so the initially your bonding box will be like this you can even set it to short one using uh, manual method is also there and you can, you can use the numerical input over there it's totally depending upon your uh, requirement to avoid misjudgments you can use your triad to set it up properly okay well we are done with our bonding box this is fine for me so we can even hide this one for now once we are done with as we already predefined our uh, inlet boundary conditions you don't need to worry about it here the goals you can set it up and the goals for me can even select the static pressure and mass flow rate for now I just need the F of Y force so I need to calculate the drag force on it I'll select F of Y force I'll click OK so once that is done I want even coefficient drag value so I'll just select the equation based so I need to type the equation here so instead of wasting time here let me just copy the uh, uh, equation so let me just copy from here so this is the drag coefficient formula okay so you can just refer this two times of uh, drag force into uh, like divided by rho into v square into area frontal area we can consider and you could see to analyze the drag and lift you could see along the x direction we need to take it as drag y left remember that so here in the last session i had made the confu uh, like confusion but here i'm going to correct it here 22.22 in the sense 80 kilometers per hour you need to remember v square into sense velocity square in 2 uh, meters per second here kilometers per hour I'm not going to consider because unit system had said it the same thing here it shows uh, this particular expression doesn't exist so what I'll do is I'll delete this equation and I'll recreate it uh, you can see we have the uh, drag and the lift force already into account so now here instead of referring this one what I'll do is I'll uh, add it again okay from the scratch so the formula is two times of the drag force if you are going to deal with the uh, uh, the coefficient of drag. So you can add the uh, global equation which you have defined it by using this icon at the top. Let me just show the same thing. So it is two times. From here you can choose the f of x along x which is drag force so we can just close the bracket remember uh, adding the brackets and defining the symbols and all so here it plays very important role well so again inside the bracket row 1.225 into velocity square 22.22 into 22.22 into sense 80 kilometers per hour into 80 kilometers per hour i'm considering the uh, the normal on an average uh, velocity of any of the bus 
the commercial uh, bus okay you can consider the same thing into the frontal area in uh, advanced office it will be like by default we don't need to define the formula as well okay for cd and all but in uh, sonic box it is must in future we will add this update but at the moment we can define it but it is again showing invalid so there might be something wrong in it so yeah two times into star i need to add here okay yep uh that's fine you can just click on green check the formula is ready okay i'm only evaluating the uh drag force and the drag coefficient at the moment uh before that let me just uh take you through the formula so that you can understand the same thing this is equal to c cd which is equal to two times of drag force divided by rho v square into frontal area which we have defined it properly okay well so now we can run the study to deal with frontal area i'll just select these all the faces which i needed okay you can even select these all the faces and this to deal with this you can go ahead with the evaluate and select measure it's going to give the value here 10.23 so I have even selected the uh, these faces. So it go on an average ten point six. Okay. So I took this ten point uh, six meter square as my reference for temp uh, frontal area, and I have added into this. So uh, velocity is eighty uh, kilometers per hour. And over there uh, in meters per uh, second, it is uh, 22.22. So velocity square is this much, and the density of air is 1.225 kg per meter squared. So everything is fine. So we have applied the uh, equation goals as well as the drag force. So now just time to mesh it. So uh, I'll keep the mesh as default and I'll just run the study. Once you run the study, you're gonna get the results in the form of. these so let me just load the results once you are previously run the studies you would be having this one okay and this is the cut plot which you can generate it so here as you could see the streamlines as well as the vorticity which has been generated here and the velocity distribution so now surface plot so i have added the pressure plot over there as you could see the pressure where is the maximum and where it is minimum so at this location also it is uh, kind of maximum okay, it is more over there and then dealing with the next thing is uh, you can even add the iso surfaces as per your requirement this is the velocity iso plot so you can even deal with that so next thing is the flow trajectories so this is how the flow trajectory is gonna act on this is the uh, you can even animate each and every flows uh, sorry plots there are some limitations you need to check whether uh, it's gonna work for all the all the plots or not okay so this is the animation for it as you could see at this location it is giving the vorticity so compared to the default one the vortices uh, originating here is kind of less okay fine so once you are done with this so next thing is to deal with uh, uh, goals which we have set it up right so I'll simply select this and I'm gonna just click on show and here you could uh, preview the results okay the drag force 2800 and uh, CD value also you can see so it's uh, 0 0.89 okay with this particular uh, model and you can evaluate the same thing with all the configuration which I had created for this but at the moment I just wanted to take you through the basic flow analysis using the SOLIDWORKS flow simulation so I hope you got it so this is how you can just evaluate results by using the drag force and the coefficient of drag okay well so let me again uh, just take you through the other results so that you can have a better understanding so with respect to that i have this values that is the flow trajectories 
so you can just uh, edit your uh, flow trajectories as well as iso surfaces cut flaws and uh, even the surface plots according to your requirement okay later on you can do it so i has already created them i'll just showcase how exactly uh, they're gonna just uh, have the impact on your analysis results okay so you can even animate them so for your understanding uh, like it is quite mushy here i'll just turn off this uh, cut plot at the moment so that you can have the uh, better view i'll play the animation okay and you can even adjust the screen and you can even record it and you can even use it for social media promotions like the short videos and all so if you don't want these tabs you can just simply hide it solidworks has these capabilities in the new versions 2022 and even in 2023 we have the advanced options and the performance updates you can use it let's see this is how uh, this uh, the airflow is impacting on the vehicle with respect to 80 kilometers per hour and we have seen the results well so this is how we can able to conduct the flow simulation by using solidworks flow simulation well so that's all about this session guys so as i already told in the beginning itself this would be the last tutorial on this particular youtube that is cat guru kirisham so uh, from here onwards i won't be available for uh, uh, tutorial creations at the moment at least for uh, few years we can consider well so until then uh, i'm signing off from this all the activities and uh, i would like to personally thank you all for supporting my channel and helping me to grow this channel within just one year to reach around more than 7000 followers i do believe that i can uh, make it better but right now due to some uh, like uh, issues which i'm facing so i'll be completely away from these all the activities well that's all about this session guys thank you bye everyone